Howdy y'all, it's Ryan and Adam from Warefoot or well, T-Rex Customs. He's from Warefoot, I'm from Arnie Music and uh, he's coming to pick up a guitar today. I am right here, this one. Nice little silver burst. Mm -hmm. We're a fan of that in the foot. Yeah. So while he's here, I thought it'd be fun to do a little lesson video. Mm -hmm. So Adam is going to teach me a Warefoot riff. Yes. Because I like riffs. And Warefoots. So I've never tried learning one of your songs. Yeah. I enjoy them, but I haven't thought, I'm going to learn that. But now that you're here, let's just, we're going to make it Sweet. easy. Awesome. <laughs> Baby step me through it. Yeah, uh, you were, we, were, we were messing around with Deceiver earlier, the great Deceiver. So that's uh, it's in standard tuning. So we're we're in C standard, but I think we're both in like D flat standard right now. Yeah. Drop D sharp. sharp. Not drop. We're just in standard. Oh yeah, I'm dropped. Okay, that's the other half of the set. What's the tuning? <laughs> All right. So what's the standard tuning? tuning? Standard tuning? Yeah, yeah. It's like drop C sharp, but tuned up to standard. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just standard tuning. Sit down a half step. Normally we're down a lot further, but these guitars are here, so for instead instead of having to restring everything. So. Right. All right. So it's standard tuning, generally, yeah. but down. We do standard. Yeah, we do both. We got like three or four songs in standard, and then we got uh, which are in C standard, and then we have uh, uh, the rest of everything is in drop A sharp. Nice. So we're in we're in that. First part is. No, it starts first part. Yeah. All right. So. That's the first part. Yeah, and then so the next part is uh, you get you hit up here at ten, uh, ten nine five, and then ten five. So it starts off five seven five. Oh no, seven, seven five seven. Seven, yeah. seven five seven. Seventh fret power chords. Then ten nine five. That's right. And then ten five seven. Okay, I think. Yeah. Well, we got, oh, it's we got not. That. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So, so you're like, I'm 
Steven holds down like the, the five chords like he does. And then because we try and like separate the two guitars as much as possible, I'll play octaves over all that. So I'm playing. Okay, the other thing I was wondering was yeah. subtle difference. So I was picking all that. And you were, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Is it a full you how many picks? Just one, I think. Okay. I don't know what Steven's doing because he's on the other side of the stage. Right. But I do that because it's greasier. Yes, all right. I was Literally, because like, the wounds from your fingers grease up the neck. So you're, I was going, I was yeah. picking it, and it's, but it's really. Dang it. Yeah. Ah, subtle. Well, that's like when you're, when you're picking it and you're just figuring out the notes, like. Just figure that out. That's like when you're doing like the outlines if you're drawing a picture, but then when you start to listen and get the subtleties, like the slides, like you did, that's like the shading and adding the color and all that. So it's all part of it. Yeah, the, those little subtle differences can it it's, just changes the feel of the oh, riff a little bit. Yeah, that sounds that sounds a little more southern. Yeah, that back, that's the thing because you can you can never like. that all day but this, this, this that's what I mean when I say greasy like you kind of you kind of lean back a little bit when you play it too because it's behind the beat a little bit Call this the art of the riff. Special guest. Yes. Adam from Wherefoot. We also had a gig last night. We did. It was loud, so that's probably why I'm talking loud or I can't play and it's out of tune. Death. Super decibels. loud. Gig. 100 decibels. Is that is that breaking a ordinance or something? I don't know. I don't know if it's breaking the ordinance. Like 120 is like threshold of pain or whatever. So like I think 90 is like jet engines. Oh, gosh. I don't quote me on that. I'm making yeah. that up. I think. But there's. It, Somewhere I don't 120 might be jet engines, but it's it's loud enough that like the there's a Herb Midgley shout out to Herb Midgley. Uh, I know Herb. Herb. I took Herb, some classes from Herb. Herb's office is now like maybe like next door or a block from where this place was. So he came over to talk to us before the show, and then he came and watched the show, and he pulls out his phone and and Herb. Why wouldn't Herb have an SPL meter on his phone? I was at, I was wondering. You were saying a professor from SFA. Yeah. I was like. Probably Herb. Herb Midgley. So Herb pulls out the Herb, he pulls out the SPL meter when the band after us is on. He goes, and we're all you know we earplugs in, just it's loud. And he's like, they're at ninety. I was like, that's pretty loud. He goes, you guys were at a hundred. <laughs> like, well, okay, cool. Well, we're rare for it. Yeah, <laughs> we were supposed to break people's we, eardrums. We could destroy. Yeah, it was ears. It was very fun, but I mean, it was it was uh, literally if you've ever been to RNA, the place was literally as big as RNA, and we had about fifty people packed in there, and everybody's wearing sweatshirts because it's cold outside. So like, all the glass got fogged up. It was. I wanted to, I wanted to go, sweet. but yeah. it was, it's about two and a half hours from yeah. RNA Music to Nacogdoches, Texas. So I would have missed the first fifteen minutes, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we were running behind. You might have been there on time, but you would have missed. Uh, you would have missed some of the best part because we started the show. We usually close with um, Riders into Spellbinder. Riders into Path on a Mountain known as Spellbinder. We opened with all that this time to change it up. So you would have missed all that. Ah, all the greasy. This one was the Great Deceiver. The Great Deceiver. Yeah. All right. I like that one. Y'all played in Tyler, and I was like, mm -hmm. "That's the only one we didn't play last night." Ah. Yeah, because we had to cut it short. Oh man. Well, that's good. They're all great. So, yeah. on that we, note, we so. on that note, how's the album coming? Slow. <laughs> Slowly. Your album we're, coming? We're, Gee, my albums. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on video. it. That's a different video, Paul. Paul. <laughs> how's your album coming? I'm waiting on you. Dang it! <laughs> it's all my fault. It's going slowly. Right now, right now, we're everybody's on Christmas vacation, kind of basically. I mean, our drummer's leaving for uh, a, a vacation next week with the whole family, so 
we really aren't even going to all have a chance to get together until after the 25th. So all right. after then, I've got all the old tracks on my computer right now. So I'm trying to go through and see what we can salvage. But the plan right now is to start in January, re-record all the drums mm -hmm. for both EPs this time. Because we finished writing the 10th the tune and then uh, do both of those and then record everything and then drop the first one. And then a month or two later, put the second one out. Ah. So it's real quick, and then we'll we'll start right because we've already started writing riffs for the third one, but we hadn't finished it. We're we're ambitious. We've started writing the third one, hadn't even recorded <laughs> the first one. The first one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been working on mine for like five years. So. All good. That's how it goes. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I thank you. I can't wait. I'm super excited. Nice. So. Thanks for the riff lesson. No problem. I'm going to probably play this for the rest of the day now. That's fun. Maybe write a riff. Maybe I'll steal. Mm -hmm. Steal some stuff. Steals from where? Yeah, we, we we don't steal. Where for doesn't steal from anyone. I get it. The, the slides. That that's a very you know. Uh, that reminds me of some other Texas metals. Yeah, it's very. It's a little little uh, little. Beard. <laughs> Step one of the riff is to get the beard, and the gentleman yeah. you're speaking of definitely has the beard. Yeah. Well, and, and like old Metallica stuff, which is what I love. They mm -hmm. did a lot. Of, it, it didn't slide. It was. Yep. Like chromatic kind of mm -hmm. thing. So, but that's that's, the thing. I mean, that's definitely greasier. If you, I mean, if you just if you just find there your E is and just figure out where the where the scale is on the A string, that's all we do. We just drone the we drone the low string underneath the scale on the string above, and like we just find the cool sound and intervals, and that's all we do. Songwriting is easy, kids. It's all good. It doesn't have to be dream theater. No, you don't have to know theory. I don't know. Yeah, not not, but I mean, Ryan will teach it to you. If you yeah, learn. not that it would hurt anything. Yeah, cool man. Sweet. All right, so that's non-dropped riffing. Non-dropped riffing, yes. That's something I need to work on. So, yeah, it's fun. I mean, it, you do different things. Like uh, a lot of the, a lot of Sabbath was in like old stuff, but in drop. But I mean, a lot of it wasn't. You know, yeah. So. Yeah, I think they started it. Mm -hmm. The drop heavies. Well, yeah, because there were some. I mean, Tony cut his fingers off. You know, so he had to. He played, but see now we all drop and we play these super thick strings. Like I think I have a sixty on the on the low string yeah. on on the guitar I was on last night. He was playing like nines and eights, drop yeah. down, but it's because he couldn't mash them down. Really squishy and loose. Yeah. So. Mm. Awesome. Billy Gibbons does that too. Billy Gibbons plays like eights and sevens. Yeah, super skinny strings. Yeah, because he says don't work for it. Don't. Yeah. I don't, why work too hard? Yeah. Why work so hard if you yeah. don't have to? Well, cool, man. Awesome seeing yes, you, sir. as always. Always. Thanks for the riff lesson. All good. We'll see you next time. Keep the music alive. Wizards. Keep riffing. Wizards and beards. Mm -hmm. And wolves. <laughs> and wear feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wear feet. <laughs> wear feet. Wear feet. Wear women. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>